Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Right Reverend Dr John Arms, Bishop of Edinburgh. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm very grateful indeed for this opportunity to be with you today. The Diocese of Edinburgh has a much valued link with Cape Coast in Ghana. Like many parts of Africa, the impact of the British Empire on Ghana was, shall we say, ambiguous. Cape Coast Castle was, after all, a centre for the transatlantic slave trade. And yet my Ghanaian friends point out that alongside that chilling legacy, there are examples of a more benign influence. One such was told to me during a visit to a thriving neighbourhood called Addisal. Let me tell you, said my companion, the legend of Addisal, how it got its name. Many years ago, he told me, there was a Scottish nurse called Alice. The people quickly learned to love her and would travel long distances to seek her help with various ailments. Like many Europeans, that's when she insisted, oh, and Alice worked long hours um, to help them except during the afternoon, because like many Europeans, that's when she insisted on her afternoon nap. So if you arrived in the afternoon to see the nurse, you'd be met by her maid who pronounced the familiar message, Alice is sleeping. Except that the maid couldn't say the name properly. She said Addis, not Alice. And in the language of the place, the word for sleeping is Ada. So Addis, Ada. Adisadel, Alice is sleeping. And this became the name for the neighborhood where Alice used to live. I hope the story is true, for we all know places, towns, buildings, rooms even, that are named after the famous and those who have achieved distinction, and rightly so. But every so often it's good to know that the efforts of our unsung heroines and heroes are also immortalized not by committee decision, but by popular usage. Because one faithful person so earned the love of her neighbours that it seemed completely natural to them to cherish her memory. But even if the story is only a pleasant folk tale, we probably know someone like Alice, someone whose purpose in life is to serve, someone who earns so much admiration that even their little eccentricities, such as an afternoon nap, are found endearing. Someone who helps to make this often brutal world a kinder and more humane place to live. So I wish you well as you set about that task. Although whether as politicians you want the reputation for taking an afternoon nap is not for me to say. <laughs> 